Lawrence Memorial Hospital now brings you better health. The most personal problems, having to wear a pad all the time or, or having, you know, wetting the bed or something like that. Um, there's such a wide range of problems and consequently there's such a wide range of solutions that it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to pinpoint any one thing in terms of women's incontinence and prolapse. If there's a problem, it, it could be a sign of a lot of different things. Sometimes it, it, would, it may require surgery to fix, sometimes not. And there are, Botox is an, a, a good example of something that is newer that we use pretty routinely now to help with urine control, but that's obviously that's not appropriate for everyone. There's another type of treatment um, called tibial neurostimulation. Believe it or not, it almost sounds like acupuncture where we stimulate a nerve down next to the ankle that influences the behavior of the bladder. And uh, so that's another thing that we've just been using the last few years. Um, probably one of the biggest advances that, that we've had in the last decade, and we've had the robot here at the hospital since 2012, is the robotic technique of fixing pelvic floor prolapse. And that, um, that is, I mean, the term game changer, I guess, is overused sometimes, but that, that completely changed the way we treat that problem, at least for me because now I can do what used to be a three, four, five day hospital stay with a big incision through tiny little openings and uh, to support the bladder and, and you know, all parts of the vagina. I, I worked very closely with our gynecologists who, who uh, will do a hysterectomy at the time of the, of the repair. And so when I see women who've have, who have prolapse issues and, it's, it's a lot of discomfort, it's a lot of embarrassment, and you know, it seems like it's not too much to ask for your organs to just be where they're supposed to be. And um, those are probably among the most grateful patients that I have, who when they come back in and everything is back where it's supposed to be, it seems that they're particularly grateful.